James Hergott here. I'm a filmmaker and amateur bodybuilder. And I'm a week away from my next contest, which is the IFBB World Qualifiers. Um, it's a big contest. It's a, a national level contest here in Canada. And um, it's going to be held in Toronto this year, so basically in my backyard. And uh, it's a big deal for me for a couple of reasons. So I want to talk about the contest and what led up to it and also just uh, give out some shout outs to some important people in my life. Um, so yeah, so it's the IFBB World Qualifiers. It's a tested contest. Uh, I expect it to be very competitive. I'm definitely bringing my best package that I've ever brought um, by far. Um, I've put more into this uh, preparation than I ever have. Uh, I know that there's a lot of really good guys who qualified for this that I'm going to be up against. So I really have no idea how I'm going to do, but I know that I'm satisfied that I pretty much put everything into this that I could, meaning like in the off season, I had a lot of work um, that I had to do and traveling with the TV show and other projects. But in terms of the actual uh, pre-contest prep, I was pretty much on lockdown and it was one of those things where I was like, you know, I really want to commit to doing all of the cardio and all the training and the diet and do it right and see what happens. So the results of that is uh, I'm coming in my all time best condition uh, and that's really all you can do. That's really all I want as a competitor is to bring my all time best and then, you know, let the chips fall where they may. So I'm confident going into the show simply because I'm really happy with how I look and what I accomplished with my physique. Uh, in terms of uh, the you know show in general and how I got to to that stage, a little bit of background on that. Uh, I I don't want to get a little you know too dark with it, but I had a, uh, a emergency surgery. Um, two and a half years ago. I had an ulcer burst and I had no idea that I had this ulcer. All of a sudden I had this pain and um, I thought maybe I was just cramping. So I resisted going into um, you know, emergency because I didn't want to wait a long time for something that wasn't that important. It turned out that I had this ulcer and that it perforated and basically I went septic. So if I hadn't gotten to the hospital uh, when I did, uh, I wouldn't be here. So it was a very serious thing. Um, the ironic part of it is that I was um, just a few weeks away from a contest, and it was called uh, uh, the Coburg uh, Naturals, which is it's run by Winston Roberts. Uh, Winston Roberts, you can look him up online. Um, awesome individual who's been with the IFBB back, uh, you know, as far as the Joe Weider days and the Arnold Schwarzenegger days, and he's an Olympia judge, and uh, he, he puts on the show, it's a great show, and they actually had me on the poster, so I really felt like I, you know, I needed to be part of this contest. Uh, I was in the hospital for a week, uh, I didn't have any solid food, uh, it, it was very serious surgery, I'll kind of show you, uh, I was slit from here to there so it was like I said no joke and uh, coming out of there I, I'm not allowed to even touch uh, Advil again or any kind of uh, you know any inflammatory there's a lot of things I have to stay away from for the rest of my life just for my own you know survival and up to that point I never had any health issues so that was a real wake-up call but it it helped me understand the importance of of life and you know taking chances in life and, and putting it all on the line you know living life on your terms um, you know people have asked me why would you do a bodybuilding contest and it is kind of crazy if you think about it but to me it's like uh, I love to challenge myself so that's why I'm doing this um, now I got out of the hospital didn't have any solid food for a week I was very weak I had to start by eating like pudding and things like that and I got this crazy notion that I'm still going to do the competition because I already you know I, I was actually early in terms of my shape 
And, you know, I thought, well, I can't really work out, but if I can sort of maintain my conditioning, just getting on stage would be an accomplishment. And uh, people thought I was stupid, and I, I really am for doing it, but, you know, I wanted, I'm stubborn, and I wanted to prove something to myself, which was that I can get up on this stage and, um, and compete. Uh, I placed in, in that contest um, last, but it was still within the top five, so it qualified me for provincials. Um, but that wasn't my goal. Again, my goal was just to get on stage, and I'm very proud that I did that. It was just, you know, I don't know, like four weeks out of getting out of the hospital. Um, so uh, going into provincials, uh, that was last year, and I had, you know, a year to train and prepare, and I started working with uh, trainer Joe Seaman. Joe's a, a big, big guy who's young, um, very talented, very knowledgeable. So even though I'm 38 years old, uh, you know, he passed on a lot of knowledge to me, and he trains really hard, and that's something that I wanted to do. I wanted somebody that could really push me, um, you know, and, and be honest with me and build up my weak areas. So I worked with him, came into provincials, and I qualified for this show. Um, but I definitely wasn't satisfied with how I looked at provincials. Um, I wasn't as conditioned as I wanted to be. So this contest was all about conditioning for me and bringing my best. And continued to work with Joe this entire year. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm very excited with the results and, and what's going into this. The whole time that I, I got ready for this contest, I've been doing a TV show called Radical Body Transformations, and there's so many people that are part of the show that have inspired me. So just, um, you know, both people in terms of their personal lives and, and how driven they are and overcoming obstacles much more than I've overcome, uh, you know, has inspired me. Also seeing some of the competitors that we had on the show and actually seeing them on stage and how they perform. Um, probably, you know, inspired me, but also kind of scared me a little bit in the sense that I saw how good they looked, both the men and the women. And I thought, you know, um, I, I got to be ready for this contest because every year it gets harder and harder. The, the level of competition goes up. Um, so, you know, uh, speaking on that show, just to let you know, uh, it's currently in editing and um, Regan Rogerson's working on it. And, uh, you know, he's sifting through tons and tons of footage. So while I'm getting ready for this contest, he's, you know, in contact with me and working on that. So I'm expecting that to, uh, to start coming out soon. Um, there's a slight delay with it, but um, everything's on track now. And it will be on the uh, Generation Iron Network, um, you know, which is, you know, based on the movie. And incidentally, the guys from Generation Iron had contacted me while I was in the hospital, they had um, seen a script for a project that I wanted to do and, and contacted me. I didn't even care because I, I was fighting for my life. So I got back to them after I got out of the hospital and um, things just really, there was a lot of synergy there. I ended up hosting the New York premiere for Generation Iron, um, the LA premiere for it. and. Um, really uh, helped with that movie and that's something I'm very proud about and again that also inspired me. So Generation Iron Network, Radical Body Transformation, um, coming to you soon and so many great stories and the footage looks fantastic and I can't wait to show that to the world. So that's another thing that's in development. Uh, you know the best of the best in Canada are going to be there and I, I just want to do my best um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, some sponsors that I have that have helped me uh, getting ready for this contest. Uh, Popeye's Supplements of Durham Region has helped me, and um, uh, the owners of Popeye's uh, Supplements Durham, uh, they own you know a few locations in the Durham Region, including Oshawa, Pickering, uh, Ajax, and... Uh, they also own the Berry location and the Peterborough location. Phenomenal people, a great company to buy your supplements from. All the supplements that I purchased uh, getting ready for this contest are from that Popeye, so I've got to give, uh, give them a shout out. Also, also, Colleen from the Crystal Suit, she created my 
suit and it, it looks spectacular. Uh, she also sponsored the show and she's just a wonderful person. And uh, I urge you if you're competing to contact her, she's really good. Um, you know, I try and basically only work with sponsors uh, for the show, etc., that I believe in, um, because I can only really sell something that I believe in in the first place. Um, also, like to thank uh, OPA, which is the Ontario Physique Organization, uh, and uh, Ron Hache, who runs that, and all of the people that are part of that. They've been very supportive. They let us film, um, you know, backstage and, and cover uh, many of the great athletes, and they're going to be part of the show as well. So I really appreciate their support, and um, it's a really competitive uh, place to come up through because Ontario has more shows than anywhere else. So just to get qualified for uh, a national contest through them is um, is very challenging, and um, you know you definitely face the best of the best. So it, it's really exciting to to work with those guys. Um, also like to thank my father. My, th my father's always been supportive. You know, a lot of times we thank people or we give these uh, eulogies when somebody passes away. My dad is a very, very strong person. Uh, he was, uh, he grew up dirt poor, like, you know, no money. And uh, he, he had this dream of becoming an airline pilot, much like I had a dream of, of doing TV and film and things like that. And uh, he grew up in a very small, like, farm town. So to do that, um, people thought he was crazy, and he accomplished that. He became a pilot. Um, he worked for Air Canada for 30 years. And um, he, he's an amazing individual. Um, you know, I, I don't want to get too personal, but I think it's actually something really positive. Uh, he had a drinking issue, and um, uh, he, he kind of hit bottom and he basically stopped cold turkey and he did that a few years ago and he hasn't touched alcohol since. Um, so I'm incredibly proud of him for his strength. Um, and he, like I said, he's been a very uh, giving and generous father. I couldn't have asked for a, a better person in my life to, to support me. Um, also, since that surgery, not only did I qualify for the world qualifiers, I had a baby. Her name is Victoria. Now her mother, uh, Christina, is a wonderful person. She's an amazing mother. And she's also, uh, I met her through this industry. She's uh, a makeup artist, um, you know, that does, works with a lot of the competitors and uh, worked on national stage, worked on, um, you know, many competitions and she's very talented. You know, somebody might say I'm biased, but actually she really is talented and the feedback that um, people have told me is, you know, I've had people say that they've never looked as good as they've looked uh, with her makeup. So shout out to Christina and uh, for her support. Uh, you know, I have a lot of people also to, uh, to thank just in terms of the actual Radical Body Transformation Show. I can't get into all of the cast and the trainers and people that are part of it because there's just too many of you. Um, but in terms of the sponsors, uh, number one, Advanced Genetics, Chris Johnson, been phenomenal for us, sent us so much uh, stuff to give out to our cast, and also have um, you know supported the project on a number of levels. So thank you, Chris, and Advanced Genetics, and all the people that are part of that t um, that team. I really love; they're great people. Uh, also Canadians, and um, just you know really happy to be working with them. Uh, Be Up Bars, uh, they stepped up to the plate and have been uh, giving a box of bars to the people that are on the show and their bars are phenomenal, very healthy, you know, sea salt in it, um, all natural ingredients. I really love the product. Um, I, I use it and, um, you know, thank you Be Up Bars. Uh, Cyclone Cup, a uh, great uh, cup manufacturer, you know, for mixing your shakes and stuff like that. Again, been very supportive. I want to shout out to them. And uh, Viaggio Jewelry, uh, which has actually provided uh, Sterling Silver bracelets to many of the, the girls in the cast. Uh, very generous and, you know, I'm thankful. And Icon Meals, which uh, they're based in the U.S., but have provided a number of meals and, um, you know, to our cast. What they do is they, if you're traveling and you're, you're on location somewhere, uh, 
they submit all of your healthy food. They send it prepackaged. You just have to warm it, and it really tastes great, and it's really healthy. Um, thanks to uh, Todd Abrams and Icon Meals. They're a fantastic um, just organization, and basically all of my sponsors, um, I love them. You know, I, there's not a single one of them that I have to like – be like, oh man, I, I hate supporting this because I don't believe in it. I really support all of them and love their product and use their products. So uh, after, I actually, uh, my birthday is August 18th. So uh, like I said, the show's next week. So just um, birthday's a few days before, but not going to be doing uh, any celebrating until after the contest. So I'm going to be turning 39, so the celebration's on, and I have my daughter who, uh, you know, I can't wait to, uh, to you know, get to spend some more time with her, and um, just be able to eat, like, donuts and stuff like that, you know, I that would be exciting. Uh, before I go, you know, lighting's not the best in here, but I'll give you guys a sneak preview of how I look. I'm very uh, carb depleted right now, um, very flat, so, you know, hopefully once I fill out and drop water, you know, there'll be a different look, but I'll give you an idea how I look right now. So this is the Saturday, uh, one week from the contest, and here's how I look. Anyway, thank you for taking the time to watch the video. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the support of everybody. Um, you know, anybody that's come up to me and, and given me um, you know, positive praise. I really appreciate it. And uh, for anybody at the gym or anything like that, when I'm walking around and not really talking to anybody, I'm not a jerk. I'm just really focused. And um, you know, I really want to do my best and bring my all-time best. So um, I appreciate all of you, all the love and support. Thank you very much.